the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. This is a place of encounter, it's a place of miracles, it's a place of healing, it's a place where the power and the authority of the kingdom is allowed to find full expression and um, I just want to charge us very briefly a few things that the Lord dropped in my spirit. And um, please, I'd like us to pay attention, even as I just exhort us, and then we'll trust the Spirit of God to move in a remarkable way in this place. In case you came here tonight casually, carelessly, religiously, especially for those of us who are coming, there are so many people outside, please make sure your heart becomes paired. I said it again, this is cinema. You don't come here to watch movies. It's where God comes to change your life and alter the course of your destiny and stay the hands of darkness over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I want to talk on three things. Uh, oh, by the way, I'd like to appreciate everyone um, it's truly an honor and a blessing, a privilege to have us gather. I know that you come um, to be blessed, but your presence is seed of the apostles. Your presence is a sign that God has sent us with a message, with an anointing, with a mandate, and we don't take for granted the sacrifices. I saw people in literally everywhere their feet can find expression um some sitting even in the gutters and all around it takes hunger and sacrifice but i want to know that there is a god we have and that god will surprise you tonight in the name of jesus people have been in this town right from the beginning of the week preparing fasting families groups People have traveled from all over this nation, risking their lives on wood. You will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. There is authority to wipe your tears. But very quickly, I just want to talk on three things. Um, as we teach, the power of God is here. But I want you to pay attention because... It's important to receive a word that will change you. Hallelujah. The Bible says the spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters, but he could not do anything until God said. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 says, The spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. So as, as I share with us, the Holy Spirit is going to be speaking. We are here for various reasons. There are people who are here for encounters of all sorts. People are here for healing miracles. People are here for breakthroughs. Others are just here to upgrade their passion, their pursuit. People are here for direction. Others are here for revelation. What is the root cause of my challenges and so on and so forth. So it's important for us to pay attention to what God is doing. The first thing the Lord asked me to share with us is... On our relationship with God. Please write it. It matters to God. Um, the extent of relationship we have. With him. 
John 15. We'll be very fast. There's a lot to do tonight. John 15. You know, one of the, one of the very unfortunate things, especially with believers, is that um, many times we love to receive things from God on the platform of the prophetic, which is important, on the platform of someone else's faith, which is okay, but many times we frown at any process that leads us into developing intimacy. Listen, please, with the Holy Spirit. I don't know if I've taught it here, but the Holy Spirit began to teach me towards the end of last year that there are two dimensions to the operation of the power of God in a man's life. There is the dimension of God's power that is encapsulated in laws and principles. The very power of God programmed in spiritual laws and principles. So that the moment you fulfill the requirement of that principle at once, power is released for performance. You don't have to believe in the person of God. To get that kind of result. Hallelujah. You don't have to um, be a believer. The power of God. That's the dimension of power witches and wizards use. The devil has no power its own. The Bible says, once have I spoken and twice have you heard that all power, not some. So I can manipulate spiritual laws and produce a result for you. Although I may not be, for instance, a child of God. The laws will work. But it's called witchcraft. Taught us because for it of God, that process must be initiated and sustained by the Holy Spirit. So even if the result is correct, but the spiritual agency that initiated it is not of God. It still leads to error and witchcraft. Are we together? But there is a higher dimension of spiritual power. It's called the reward of intimacy. Hmm. There is a higher dimension of spiritual power. As important as mysteries and principles are, I'll be talking a bit on it. You must grow past that realm. And then you get to a point where you are in so much of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. There are certain levels of spiritual power and authority that is hidden in Him. Take me into the Holy of Holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me into the holy of holies. Take the cold, touch my lips, here I am. Hallelujah. Intimacy. God is not a magician. He's only a native doctor who does not care whether you know his name or not. Once you come into the shrine, he says, what's your problem? He doesn't care whether you know him. The relationship is not the issue. And you say, Baba, I want to kill somebody. And he says, okay, bring a fowl, bring, a, bring goat, add coconut, add whatever. And then he says, go, it's done. You don't even know the person. In fact, you may not even know how he looks because he's not interested in relationship. But when you come to God, God shifts your hand and says, let me have your heart first. You came with your hand. But God says, leave your hand. My son, give me your heart. Especially for those who are looking for anointing and power, there is a desperation for power. Whenever you see God doing great things through a man, it's usually shocking. Because you look at the man and you're like, where, is, where are these miracles coming from? <laughs> Let me tell you, if people look at your life and they are not surprised, it's a sign that the Holy Spirit is not exalted in your life. 
everything about your life should be such a shock and a mystery that people look at koinonia for instance and say what is this is the signature of god you can see where man's effort ended and you know from here there is a mystery hallelujah this ministry is a mystery because of the hand of god he says if i by the finger of god the finger of god but brothers and sisters what you see is a product of relationship you see relationship will give you what your manipulation in prayer may not be able to give you the bible even says it takes the holy spirit for us to pray well that god is saying by my standard you don't even know how to receive from me friendship those who are pastors here of ministries inside and outside please pay attention more than power more than crowd believe me if you want the signature of the spirit upon your life focus on a relationship with god we don't like this that's why the dimension of the operation of god in our lives is limited if i begin to prophesy now and begin to speak and miracles begin to happen many of us just loosen up and you say now koinonia is on no god is not a herbalist it's not a magician what you see happening in this ministry is the same thing that happens in marriage are we together when a man gets married to his wife as a faithful bride she comes a partaker of his might his authority she bears his son name instantly instantly his authority becomes her authority please listen for as long as she remains a faithful bride you may not like her she may be a cleaner a day before but marriage translated her and the bible tells us listen that the church the ecclesia is called the bride of christ i'm ever conscious of this fact and the bible says husbands love your wives love your wives unto death and so there is the love of god i i am so this is my confidence that he loves me and he will back everything that represents himself in my life the first message for us tonight is that it's time to really be serious about our relationship with god god is not a herbalist he's not a magician there are people who can be praying and shouting using jesus as if he's a genie you know how you use a charm you just strike it and do certain things Look at what Jesus did. Look at his relationship with the Father. When he came, he said, Father, thank you at the grave of Lazarus because I know you always hear me. In fact, he was even embarrassed for just saying thank you aloud because to him it sounded like he was communicating unbelief. And he had to explain himself. I said, no, 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 Father, don't think I don't believe you. I did it for their sake. We know what we do in the secret. Do you have a testament in your life that is a reward of the secret place that when men look at you they know that there is a rich healthy current relationship with the holy spirit hallelujah john 15 verse 1 let's read very quickly the first seven verses i am the vine and my father is the vine dresser listen to every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. The word take away there is, a, is an incorrect rendition. It's not take away, it's the word prune. It doesn't mean I dump. Because this gives God a, an idea like if you don't produce, he dumps you. No, he doesn't dump people. He prunes you. And he says every branch that beareth fruit, he purges that it may, yes, that's the correct translation, and that it may bring forth more fruit. Verse 3, we'll read down to 7, please now we are clean through the word which i have spoken to you for help us media you have to be a bit fast please abide in me this is jesus speaking he's teaching us the secret of relationship that will produce a fearful dimension of result in your life he says abide in me and i in you right 
We call this in theology the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery that makes two entities become one. He that abided in me and I in him, what will be the result? Read on, read on. It's there. What will be the result? He says, no, 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 please give us verse 3 again. Verse 3, please go back. Okay, verse 4. Have I missed something? Verse 5. Thank you. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same does what? You see the secret. That's what we want. Another name is results. You want results in your life. He teaches you the secret. He says, I am the vine. Don't be confused. You are one with me, but you are not the vine. You are one with me as the branch. Don't just say, I'm one with Christ. As what? As the branch. Ever dependent on the vine. It says, he that abides in me. If Joshua Selman abides in me and I abide in him, he said the same will bring forth much fruit. And then he tells us the secret of dramatic results. For without me, for without me, the word without means outside of me, excluding me in the equation, you can do nothing. Verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burnt. Verse 7. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you. It says you shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Results on the strength of relationship. And so you say, Father, bless your people. Hallelujah. And then you begin to see testimonies and results on the strength of relationship. Please, listen. Listen. God must be the most important person in your life. Above miracles. Above healing. Above business. Above career pursuits. Please listen. Sometimes we get busy trying to do things. That we forget that our success in life is a derivative of our relationship. There is nothing in this life, believe me, that is worthy enough to steal away the value, the priority, the position of the Holy Spirit in my life. See what is made out of my life. Only a fool will truly know God and leave him alone to run and live his life his own way. He will give you what money cannot buy. He will do unbelievable, unimaginable things in your life. Intimacy. I've hammered this for years. And I'm saying it again. This is the first message. Pastor, if you want the anointing in your life, you want results in your ministry, it's not just by printing banners and marching around town and disturbing people with all kinds of things. There is a place for that. But your greatest publicity... Is the secret place. When you establish a track record, brothers and sisters. Look, God spoke about Jesus Christ. He said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And he commanded creation to hear him. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It must be your passion. This is koinonia. So God is calling you. I know you want to be healed. But much more than healing. I know you want to be delivered, but much more than deliverance. I know you want breakthrough. You are tired. You want God to visit the foundation of your problem. But more than that, please hear me when I tell you this. It's a sustainable key to grace. Would you dance with me, oh lover? Of my soul to the song of all songs. He 
His presence, the key to knowledge. Dance with me, oh lover of my soul, to the song of all songs. Just sing it two more times as an expression of your love to God. and pray in one minute and say Lord in this place tonight let there be grace for me to fall in love with you above and beyond everything please lift your voice and pray inside and outside pray grace to love you grace that you become a priority in my life Are you praying, Koinonia? Inside and outside, please make sure you are praying. Oh, yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. With all my heart, plant a fire in me. In this miracle service, oh God, more than ministry, more than business, more than academics, more than career pursuit, more than marriage, more than parenting, bring me to a point where nothing in life can take your place. Blessing or no blessing, prosperity or no prosperity, healing or no healing, deliverance. I love your presence. I love your if he abides in me and my word abides in you, you will produce results. Be imagination. Bring us to that place, oh God. Please sit down. There are certain people, this is all you need tonight. Just this key to fall in love with you. Hallelujah. Relationship. Many times after the service, you see people queuing up to see me. And I have some of our children here. They don't join the queue. It's called the privilege and the blessings of relationship. Hallelujah. While the rest are seeing me officially, some of these children can just walk up to me and hug me. And as far as they are concerned, anybody in the queue, sorry about that, but this is relationship. Are we together now? Oh, relationship will give you more. Points you didn't pray for. You will see God answering it. That's the realm where the Bible says, as they are still thinking, while he's still in the realm of imagination. When they threw a man who was in a healthy relationship with God, you know, that's what that was the bill that was passed by the Senate in Babylon to make sure Daniel cuts away his relationship with God. And Daniel said, No, I can do any other thing but not this. When they threw him in the den, the king could not sleep. See, the same way if you touch a man's wife, even if it's by mistake, you can insult her from a distance, that's all right. But you get physical. The husband changes. The Bible says jealousy is the rage of a man. 
you want to see a, an angry man do something to his wife or somebody he loves his sister or someone that's what happens love alone will give you a level of immunity above the immunity of an earthly ambassador believe me when i tell you this the prophet knew this and that was why when they came to capture him he said they that are with us for us are greater there is an immunity that you can have i pray that god will bring us to that place of fellowship there is that place where sickness cannot come near you there is that place where no oppression of darkness please believe me you will not spend your time binding and casting you will spend your time interacting there is an immunity that comes from that place and your life becomes an unending wonder a subject of discussion with no end because there is a mystery that surrounds it the mystery is him the mystery is him when when Shade was collecting the tithes and offering and she said um, she was giving an example of a woman and she wanted to look for somebody i was hoping she won't call my name you clean my feet you don't get anything believe me there's there's, there's nothing on my you only clean a dirty um feet but if you can clean his feet change your life relationship hallelujah number two please pay attention the second thing the lord put in my heart to share with us is that life is a code life is a code life is a code c-o-d-e thank you life is a code there was so much noise i don't know what that was coming from life is a code and it takes revelation to unlock the codes and the mysteries of life brothers and sisters as haphazard as life looks there is a spiritual rhythm that is responsible for manifestation of results please hear me i call them mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom life is a code it takes knowledge and understanding to unravel it nothing just happens you don't just grow you don't just experience favor you don't just prosper you don't just fall sick you don't just stay healthy you don't just live long and you don't just die life is governed by laws please listen life is governed by mysteries bishop oyedeko calls them kingdom secrets the bible says let, let's look at a few scriptures while i was meditating on this i'm telling you it, it blew my mind media you help us give us job 29 verse 4 job 29 verse 4 then we'll go to chapter 1 verse 3 job 29 verse 4 and then chapter 1 verse 3 hear what job said the richest man in the east he says as i was in the days of my youth when what when the secrets of god was upon my tabernacle he was giving us the explanation this was a defense a justification for his being the greatest man in influence and he said let me tell you it's not because my name is Job." There was a mystery he said i started doing business with god right from my youth he says when the secrets of god everybody say the secrets of god the secrets of god were upon my tabernacle what did that produce in his life chapter 1 verse 3 same job the bible says his substance this was a man who had access to divine secrets the mysteries of the kingdom listen it says his substance 
was also 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household. It says, so that this man was what? The greatest of all men in the east. And he tells us the secret. He said, don't just envy my influence. What you see, life is a mirror. If you try to change your physical environment, it's as foolish as looking at the mirror and trying to choke your hand through it to alter it. Life only reflects something happening in the spirit. The greatest man in the east gives us the secret. And he says, the secret of the Lord. I traded secrets, divine secrets. There was an exchange between the Holy Spirit and me. Daniel chapter 2. Let's see what Daniel says. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19 and then 46. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. Is God blessing you already? Life is not haphazard. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. Listen, this was when the king had a dream. And he was angry because all his wise men and lieutenants could not interpret it. And he said, look, we're going to kill everybody. And then Daniel said, no, let the king not be hasty in this. Give us time. And Daniel knew the power of his secret place. And the Bible says, then, ay, 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 ay. then the secret was what? Revealed. Brothers and sisters, when a particular kingdom secret is revealed, you hold the keys and you will do wonders with it. There's no, there's, there's no way, no way you can claim you are holding on to a key in the kingdom. And with time, there is no evidence now. It says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel in a night vision and then daniel blessed the god of heaven 46 46 he says listen my goodness a man holds a secret of the kingdom and begins to shock the entire babylonian empire to a point that this happened then the king nebuchadnezzar did what he fell upon his face and worshiped who God, secrets make a man like a God upon the earth. A king removes his crown and says, what is this? Daniel. He says he worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer oblation and sweet orders to him. Look at verse 28 of the same verse. 28. Hear what Daniel said. Please, let's read together. He was now giving us the key. One to read. But there is a God in heaven that does what? And makes known to the king what shall be in the latter days. Brothers and sisters, the God we serve is a God that reveals secrets. He can call you and say, come, let me show you a secret. Do you know them? Do you know the mystery? What you see in this ministry by the grace of God, this little that God is doing is a product of mysteries. Don't you ever think it's a mistake. It can be reproduced anywhere, any day, anytime. Because it's a secret. It says there is a God in heaven. Everybody say there is a God in heaven. That will reveal secrets for me today. Yeah. There is a secret when you handle the story of your family will change tonight. Just one secret. Please believe me. There is a secret God can show you by prophecy tonight. And tell you look, look. This confusion, you are, you are amiss. This is what is wrong. This is the correction. There is a secret. That delay has a mystery that sustains it. Are we together? That bad luck has a mystery that sustains it. Don't just say people don't like me. Don't you know there is something that makes them not to like you? The same way somebody can turn and look at Benga and say, Benga, God, 
just led me. I don't know why, but take 100,000. No, nobody just acts anyhow. They think they are acting out of compassion, but there is an influence in the spirit. <laughs> there is a God in heaven that reveals secrets. Psalm 25, verse 14. Psalm 25, verse 14. I must burn this revelation in our hearts. I want us to really have it. Psalm 25 verse 14. It says the secret of the Lord is with who? Them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. The secret of the Lord is not with believers. It's not with churchgoers. Not pastors. Not apostles. Not prophets. Those who revere him. Those who respect him. He will call you and say come let me show you something. Let me show you what makes ministry work. Let me show you something that can take your life. Let me show you something that can bring you promotion in your office. There is something. The Bible says the labor of the fool wearied every one of them. Because he does not know the road to the city. Not because there is no road. He does not know. And part of the blessings of the apostolic ministry and the prophetic ministry is access to the mysteries of a dispensation. Ephesians chapter 3, please. Give us chapter, verse 1 to 3. Ephesians chapter 3. This is an apostolic ministry. This is a prophetic ministry. You must understand the spiritual implication. This is what Paul is saying. Listen. He says, for this cause... Do you know that the mysteries of the kingdom have not, um, it's not yet, it's not exhausted. The revelation, what we know in church today is not all there is. God is still opening more doors. And it takes the apostolic ministry to be able to receive and communicate these dispensational secrets. Current mysteries. 3 verse 1. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Verse 2. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you word. Verse 3. Read please. 1 to read. How that by revelation he made known unto me what? The mystery. He made known unto me. He showed me by revelation. As I wrote afore in few words. Verse 4. Whereby, listen. When ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Next verse. Shocking. Listen. Which in other ages ah, yeah, 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 was not made known to the sons of men. Stop. Listen. There are mysteries that have been uncovered in, in today's world. That have not yet been people did not access it before not that it was not there but that mystery was not meant for that dispensation and the bible says which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto who his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit it didn't say reveal to believers Please listen. This is not human worship. It didn't say reveal to believers. The current present truth. The operation of the Holy Spirit. Administratively is communicated in the body. By the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic. So there are mysteries. That God is helping us. One of the things I pray that will come upon us tonight is a mantle of revelation. Not just miracles, but that you hold on to something. The moment you enter your office, you know what to do to silence wicked men. The moment you step in, you know what to do to move to the next dimension. The Bible says, for Jesus himself knew what to do. Scripture says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Can we pray in one minute and say, Lord, 
there is something I need to know to rise to the next level. Please show me. Pray. There is something I need to know. My God, I pray that you show me. Why does everybody hate me? Could it be that there is a mystery that I need to know? The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. Please pray. Lord, why am I just failing, failing in class? What is the mystery that will end my captivity? Why an endless circle of poverty? There is a key. Hand it to me tonight, oh God. Please hand it to me. Why do I just fall sick? Why is my church not growing? Why is my home dividing? There is a mystery. I humble myself tonight. Why is the anointing scarce in my life? Why have I not accessed influence in the spirit? Show me the mystery. Are you praying? Open my eyes. This is my year of multiplied grace and influence. It's my year. I place a demand. It's a right because truth. Right properly. Just set up in the depth of my youth when the secrets of the Lord secrets hear me koinonia we do business in this kingdom with secrets there are secrets we remain on the strength of mysteries pray is part of the meeting you're opening up your spirit Lord, I'm tired of cycles of failure. What's my family? There is a mystery that really brings deliverance. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says they are life to those who find them. And only those who seek find. They are light to those who find them and health to their flesh. Number three. The third thing the Lord asked me to share with us tonight, very powerful, is found in John chapter 5. Please give us John chapter 5. We'll read verse 1 to 9. The Lord wants to reveal a dimension of himself tonight as the helper. Listen. Listen. The Bible calls God a Beniza. You know what that means? The helper of men. When God comes in to help you in life, you must succeed. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. We're reading down to verse 9. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, Bethesda having five porches. Right? Verse 3. In this lay a great multitude of... Look at the kind of people there. Successful people don't have any business with that environment. It's an environment that connoted weakness. It says, impotent folk of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Please pay attention. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. And then whosoever, excuse me, whosoever then um, first 
Then first, after troubling the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatever disease he had. Can you imagine that kind of frustration? One person per year. Just like Nigeria says you should wait until somebody retires or dies. Then they say there's vacancy. You now come. One person per year was a horrifying situation. Then the Bible says there was a certain man. No name. There was a certain man. Which had an infirmity for how long? 38 years. After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. Do you agree with me? After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. At 38 years, no child is a concern. At 38 years, you cannot at least move into your house is a concern. At 38 years, there's nothing meaningful you are doing. It's a concern. The Bible says this man had been there 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie. Now listen. God is about to speak to you. And knew that he had been there for how long? For a... The first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time. He knows. And then the Bible says, he said unto him, will thou be made whole? Verse 7. This is what many of us are saying tonight. The impotent man answered, sir, I have no man. I have no helper. I would have gotten the job, but I have no helper. I would have stepped into another level in ministry but i have no helper it says i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool and tonight god wants to be a helper he walked to him and the man said i have no helper but he said i will help you you don't need the pool rise up he can use another route the formula had always been fall inside the water but he said let's ignore the water i am here rise up the formula has been be blessed after 20 years but god is saying i can follow another route with you such that in one year i can do something in your life that will surprise you he said i have no man and the lord said reveal to my people i will manifest as a helper when god helps a man you will be surprised the bible says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. Part of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is as a helper. He comes in to help you. That's what grace is all about. That where your effort stops, and you say, Lord, if it's based on my qualification, oh, I read whatever it is, and God says, uh -uh, I am here. I can take you to another level. Oh God, I'm here. I've been barren. They said, I don't even have a womb. And he says, I am here to help you. Who is God speaking to tonight? You really need help. Only an arrogant person will deny the need for help. I have been helped by people in my life. And I saw how easy my life became when they helped me. Watch this. Benga, come. I'm trying to lift this. And my hand is, I can't lift it. And then a helper comes. And sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything. And it makes my life easy. The help of God can make a man's life easy. Please, let me preach to you for one minute. I have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and I must say it. Disabuse your mind from this Satan proposal coming from the media that Nigeria is in trouble economy everybody shouting dollar I like you to shout it count me out say it shout it one more time listen we are not irresponsible citizens don't get me wrong we sympathize with what is happening in the nation but if you 
dare let Satan speak to you, he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life. People who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility. Everybody says dollar is rising. Is it not in your Bible? When men say. Are we together now? It says you will say there is a lifting up. This is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble. The Bible says in the days of Joseph, it said money failed. Money failed. But there was a secret that was revealed to Joseph. There is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life. Listen, God is looking for every opportunity to make a statement. Afford him your life. A Christian is not one who has just received Jesus into his life. A Christian, listen, is one who operates by the principles of the word of God. Our economy is different. And by economy, I don't just mean finances. Your health, whatever. There's Lassa fever. There's what again? Huh? There's Zika virus. There's which one again? They are, they are there. It's the one you know you are mentioning. What of the ones that are arrows that fly by day? Have they told you on TV? The Bible. Listen, listen. Psalm 90. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. Psalm 91 said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Right? There are diseases. You breathe them all around. It takes a superior revelation to keep you. I reject everything whose price has been paid on the cross. I will not pay another price again. Are we together? You must understand the implication of your oneness with Christ. So he wants to be your helper. Can you hand over your life and say, God, help me. Truly, I've tried by myself. If you don't help me, I will never get this admission. If you don't help me, I will never graduate. If you don't help me, my certificate will remain a piece of paper. I will keep mocking myself with my accolades. Listen, if no one has told you, let me tell you again, our world is a cruel and a wicked world. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to trouble anyone. You just need to be alive. That's the condition to be a potential victim. When the Lord told me this, I said, Lord, I first, I receive for myself. I receive for myself. He is my helper. When God comes in to help you, he can round off what has taken you 10 years 10 years of captivity let me tell you something it doesn't take time when jesus is there it doesn't take time you'll be watching the growth this is how it will live and you're saying where is it it's gone who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne you know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that, that CEO. I met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion. Lord, I trust you through my job. 
God says he will bless you and he say, I know my salary is on his way coming. <sighs> Lord, I trust you and he say, I know I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon. He's coming in next week from India and God is just arranging it such that he's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean rolls to the Lord of Lords. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth. All the elders and the saints sing praise. I believe God, though. I'm a man of faith. I believe God. He says, I know whom I have believed. I've seen God help people even in this place. In this place. Brothers and sisters, there is a mystery of lifting. God can take a man. You see somebody today and God can lift that person. He, he, they looked at Saul and said, where? The, we can't see the process. When did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he's already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him. There is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people. Let me tell you, this night, before we pray, just take away your mind from anything and everybody. Don't come to God with your calculation and say, Lord, my prayer request, I wrote my uncle, he must answer me, leave that one. Let God choose, if God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough, let him give it to you. You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen, don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay, God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says he spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust judge. He didn't fear anybody, not God nor man. And there was this poor widow who said, avenge me my adversary. And for a long time, the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight. Are we together? God has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper. Bless you, my dear. As a helper. As a helper. This ministry has been helped by the Lord. Greatly helped by the Lord. I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of God know that this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna, after a meeting, just to have lunch briefly and then rush back. And I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes, ma'am. And then she greeted me. 
And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said, two years ago, she came for counseling. As wretched, it was like she had come to the end of her life. I share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. And um, she said everything was scattering. She was a single mom with a child. Supposedly no hope for marriage. Nothing was working. They were about to throw her out on her job. And I prophesied to her and I said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department. She should not be afraid. And she said, man of God, that's exactly what happened. And she looked at me. And she said, can you imagine what has happened in my life? She just put her hand like this and I saw a ring. And she said, I just got married two months ago. And then, she said, I should look outside. And there was a clean E-class. She said, who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this? My life has changed. Brothers and sisters, if you will believe, God can change your life. If you will argue, he will not argue with you. He will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons. Please, I want you to be angry today as we pray and place a demand on the throne of heaven and say, Lord, you must answer me. Whenever I call you, you will answer me. Elijah called on you and you answered him. Moses called on you and you answered him that's why i know wherever i call you you will answer me seated here inside and outside in all of the overflows there are people with medical reports that if god does not visit them this night they are dying for sure i bring you a message of hope the helper is in the house there are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because they, the situation is so scattered it doesn't have beginning and end. They don't even know where the problem started from. They know that they are in the middle of a situation. But the helper, when he comes, he can make every crooked path straight. There are people here trusting God for children. There are people here trusting God for a turnaround, breakthrough. Do you believe that God is stepping in? The worship team sang so beautiful and they challenged us. Do you believe that God is able to step in? We are going to pray right now. You are not praying for your neighbor. You are not praying on your request. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Lord, please, don't let me go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Please pray. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 One more prayer point. The power of God is so strong in this place. I'd like you to say, Lord, visit the foundation of my problem and set me free. Please. Lift your voice and pray. What you think may be the problem may not really be the problem. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. 
I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle walker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. One more time. Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out. By the authority of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God is removing something from your stomach too. I'm seeing something leaving your stomach. Like a growth. I command it to go now. Right now. Right now. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to Hallelujah. everlasting. Madam. Check yourself. Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you. Huh? There's a movement. There's a movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are, you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person, please? Come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown. Brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. 
mother. Eh? Because I'm seeing another woman. Your mother is here. The Lord is saying I should speak to her. Light is living from you outside. There is a woman outside. She's your mother. Where is she? Is she here? Or at, not outside? At, at the, is he at the edge of the wall or outside? Some, who is that, please? Is she here? Come, mama. God is wiping the tears of your family tonight. Everlasting to everlasting. Lord, we will praise you. From everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you. From everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you. From everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you. From everlasting. Mama, you're welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you if they tell you their stories your own story will look like child's play because this woman has suffered mama you are a good woman but listen listen where where are you are you in zaria here in zaria what do you do i need to pray because i'm i'm seeing this is a cause i know i'm going to pray for you do you know why i call this boy they want to kill him that's why i want to pray for him they caught him at that day caught this way what they caught i go yesterday yesterday we go they say on the day we go back again eh what caught he get problem he matter they caught if i don't pray for this boy as small as he is they are going to kill him do i know you are, have a case in the court why would we call somebody like, don't don't be afraid mama because this thing will even cause you problem um young man i will pray for you mommy look at me this thing is a cause huh the same way they killed your husband they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery huh mama i'm going to pray for you there is a god that reveals secrets to men yeah. <laughs> Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. But it's not like her tie, same material. A tie like a normal this thing this is a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window please i need to speak to her if there is somebody like that let's have a mother outside the lord is showing me mama i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus for god to change your story i don't know what is in the court but in the name of jesus we will change it how old are you you are 14 you will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? I'm from Edo. You are from where? Old Edo, from Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me because the same thing He's delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit father i lay my hands on our mommy the back pain look at me mama the back pain you it did, it did, it did. You will be healed now Amen. hold my hands Amen. look at what is happening to her mama shout jesus loud jesus. father hold my hands for your glory mama look at me look at me you see something like fire moving at your back right now that pain is living right now in the name of jesus do what you couldn't do 
Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Look at, look at, help her, cover her. It will never return to you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, my friend. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing two heads. This is a misidentity. The devil wants to misrepresent you, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Your passion for God. Have good friends. If your friends are not good, leave them this night. May God give you good friends. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you. That anointing comes upon you, takes you to a new dimension. This is the woman. Mama, you are welcome. Let's celebrate Jesus. I'll pray for you. But there is another woman I'm talking about. There is another mama outside who needs to come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. You have a daughter. Yes. Where is she? She's outside. She's outside. Call her. Come. Daughter, where are you? Please come. Everlasting Shim. What's her name? Shim. Shim. Please, you had your name rush and come in. Our time is gone. Who is this? that I'm the one. No. The woman I'm talking about has her tie. Um, it's not the same as the material. It's not the same as the material she's wearing. I'm looking for a head tie that looks close to it. Ladies now, the normal scarf that you carry and tie. But I will pray for you. Anybody that has come out, I'll pray for you. I don't know why she's here. She is, but I'll pray for you. You are already out. I'll pray for you. Please, let's, let me just minister to those that are here. I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Please, you can return back to your seat. Let me talk to you. Your daughter? Daughter. Um, Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me, my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother, this is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? She is oh, mine. I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. Yes. This is your grandmother, but she's like your mother now. Yes. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. Amen. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears. And the Lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life. Believe me. Who is this? Your what? Sister, but she has um, son and daughter. You have a daughter? She has a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? In ABU here. ABU here. Yes. I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to Mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Mama. Come, come, two of you. You love Jesus? Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus? No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. But Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's it's mad. mad. Yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out! You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Release our hands. Release our hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen, you are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking, uh, what's that thing, that cough syrup? Huh? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We're not, we're not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We're not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm vibing in Sokoto. Eh? I'm staying with my elbow daughter in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm vibing in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. Yeah. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You're a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing now. What took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam. On Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you're already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Yeah? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Regina, Regina. I hear a name, Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name, Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a salunist. You are a salunist. I need to pray. 
bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this and your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus. I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you. What do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you. Because... You love God. Yes, sir. You know now, my mind is on who is supposed to. They've started your marriage planning. Please come, my sister. I, I don't mean to embarrass you. You get what I'm saying? It's to speak over your life. You too. What category are you here for? Huh? Regina, okay, I'll pray for you. Who has sickle cell? There's a sickler here now. You are the one. Please indicate, eh, sweetheart. Come. Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place. Change her genotype right now. In the name of Jesus. From SS to AA. Do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray. Please, um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please, be serious, eh? And pray, because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media and listen to the messages. They will help you. You love Jesus, but your mindset is still very serious. And you can do anything, especially men. So, please... You will listen to that message and the Lord will help you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, come. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask you. Please don't feel embarrassed. Huh? When do you want to settle down? It was supposed to be December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? You called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you. If you don't have the eyes of the spirit, you will be fighting God not knowing. Are we together now? I'm sorry to say, don't feel bad. Don't feel embarrassed. You see that guy? It was three of you. You are not the only one. You have been sensing that there's another lady. The other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you. That's why he quietly called out of fear and all of that. That he's, He may be a sincere person, but him and women, he's even a spirit. He needs help. Let me pray for you that God will bring the man he has destined. You're a very nice lady. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon her. Father, send him to her life. The man... A, a responsible and God-fearing man in the name of Jesus Christ and for your shame may my God give you double in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let me just talk to two people and then we'll... madam please come that woman can I talk to you please clear the way for her madam please come please let's pray go ahead and pray pray in the spirit say father visit me Madam, please look at me. I have to pray for you. Something is tying your finances down completely. Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. You were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, sir. Because everybody will see you now and think things are just working, but the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? 
Yes, but now I'm out of Hold on. Don't worry. You don't, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months, they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage. It's true, sir. Because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your yes, husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The yes, Lord sir. is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. You are? Hairdresser. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. Has he married? Another one? You want to get married? You want to get married? Are you sure? You don't want to get married? I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. You see, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come, I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need... Doctor, ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know, I don't know what causes it, but I know how it... Do... Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast this. Genital disorder and the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all but I know. <laughs> most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We're going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah god do a miracle in the name of jesus hold him am i holding him right jesus christ father by the blood of jesus do a miracle in this child we change this situation in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Let's go. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs healing. 
healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree that is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. The power flows through this baby. In Jesus' name. I hope the usher will help out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baby, we take away everything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Where is the man in your life? One of the ushers. Okay. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something that is serious. But I'll talk, I'll talk about it. Okay? The Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now, inside and outside. I'm going to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, as I begin to pray, it's like fire. It will come upon you. Confusion, stagnation. At least 13 people I see in the spirit. Please lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. I'll do the praying. Let's just flow the way the Holy Spirit is praying. Lord Jesus, I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels. 13 people by the influence of the spirit I stand under this apostolic anointing and I pray right now. Wherever you are, inside and outside, right now as I pray, that fire starts coming upon them right now. Right now, bring them out. 13 people. 13 people by the power of the Holy Spirit. I end it right now. There are still people outside, inside. 13 people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. I'm seeing fire. It's like a spirit that would jump out of you. Right to the back, inside, outside. I command that confusion outside. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is resting on people. Confusion. All the overflows. In the name of Jesus, confusion must come to an end. Right now. Delay. Lift your hands. I tell you, there will be a mighty baptism outside. Outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. When you shout it, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Outside, one, two, three. Bring them, bring them. Fire is falling outside. The Bible says, while men slept, hear me, 
there are things that tie the destinies of men jesus already paid the price that's why we are doing what we are doing the authority is that of jesus christ bring them in now listen listen my goodness you are going to lift your hands for your family i see the angels of the lord bringing deliverance for families listen at the count of three i tell you wherever you are i like you to shout jesus with all your heart some of you you are representing an altar of god for your family and the moment you do that in the name of jesus there will be a miracle one father for families let the soul of the spirit go from the north to the south east and the west of every family right now at the count of three one two three families 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 the sword of judgment Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. 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 Now those outside, listen. I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me? There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to begin to walk around. My goodness, I see angels by my left and right. As I begin to move across this place, the fire of God will start falling. Right now, I stand under this apostolic office and I declare my hands. Right now, right now, right now, I command that right now right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus fire 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 every spirit every devil from my left my right outside outside my left my right every devil right now i stretch my hands every spirit go 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 I command every spirit right now release them release them right now release them release them like attack boss super hallelujah 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 those of you here lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to shout jesus just two times and I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying. I should shout. There are spirits time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go, go out. Out right now. My left and my right. I release spirit. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, those spirits, I command them to leave. Right now, in the name of Jesus, out, 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command right now, right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus, it must release you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Now listen. Those of you outside, don't think you are missing anything at all. That's why I came out. I'm going to all the overflows. Those of us here, you may be outside. But let me tell you something. God will step into your destiny. Please lift your hands. Because I'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end. I'm seeing chains. Lift your hands. I want you to shout Jesus just once at the count of three. And everybody under that influence must go right now. Please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them. Father, I chains of bondage. But you organize this meeting to recover destinies. Therefore, at the count of three, it will come like fire on some of you. One, two, three. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Let that go right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 The Lord is giving you a new song. A new song. The Lord is wiping your tears. You on green, lift your hands. Take it now. Receive right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you he's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying what you could not do in five years. You, Mama, in five years, he's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, I have to pray. There's delay in your life. The Lord wants me to break the spirit of delay. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. No. Hold my hand, sir. Something will happen to you remarkably right now. Take it! That devil of delay. Out of his life right now. Out! Out! I don't know who this man is, but he's stepping into a new level. God is wiping the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing in the spirit a name, Eboni, Eboni State. Someone here from Eboni State. God is bringing a miracle at my back. That person is at my back. Eboni State. God is bringing a miracle wherever that person is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is Margaret? Margaret. I'm hearing the name Margaret. You are in this place. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lady here, Margaret. I'm seeing the Lord is shining. Who is that? Come, Margaret. You are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me. Five ladies. None is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. Sir. Seven years. What happened to you? Shot. You were shot? I'm a military personnel. Oh, you're a military personnel? Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it? Or you're still there? Still in the service, but then you need to walk? Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel... You can't feel this leg right now. Spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. Please. I have to talk. Five ladies. None of them is married. Five ladies. None is married. No one among them is married. God needs to do a miracle. Please make sure that we confirm the situation. Five ladies, so that we don't say yes. we are faking it. Please make sure. Yes, yes. Five ladies, yes, where are you from? Yes, I'm from Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, yes. You two? Five, you two? You are together? Oh, you are his sister? No. You are his friend? So why are you here with him? To back him up? Oh, five ladies, yes. Okay, I'm going to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. 
in the name of Jesus I command that spirit there is a spirit that brings delay in your family and I take authority over that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ right now there's somebody around here you are into book selling bookstore business God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business here I'm sensing it I don't know if there's anybody here you are into selling of books the Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person oh Jordan is you father in the name of Jesus I pray for Jordan you step into a new dimension in the name of Jesus I pray for you ah, but you are not related to him you just came out in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for the people here I hope they can hear me hallelujah there's somebody I need to pray for here call that lady call that lady you don't think distance is a barrier believe me God can fish you out from anywhere look at me I know you are standing by the fence but God is wiping your tears he's giving you a new song right now in the name of Jesus I release that anointing upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ God has answered your prayer you are praying that I minister to you you and your friend where is your friend where is he lift up your hands two of you you will step into an anointing uh, hold your hands together in the name of Jesus look I stretch my hands right now let a fire come upon both of you right now right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you step into a strange dimension let me talk to the people here I want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting it doesn't matter where you are God can visit you no don't worry just just leave the person grace I hear a name grace 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 there's someone with the name grace is there someone like that grace grace I need to pray for grace 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 and I'm hearing Garba Garba I'm hearing a name Garba God is ministering to somebody I don't know if it's a son name or a name Garba in the name of Jesus Garba where are you your name is Garba your son name is Garba where is your dad he's outside he's in Saudi Arabia he's, a, he's, he's in Saudi Arabia because I'm seeing God is saying, look at me. God is saying, I should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family. Okay. And it's, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have to be very serious with me. You are going to be very wealthy. You are going into oil and gas. Amen. Are you hearing me? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas. And God is going to honor you. God will bring a man into your life. Bless you. I'm seeing three people here. You are writing jam next week. Jam. No, no, not everybody. Hold on, hold on. Just relax. I'm going to pray for everybody. Here, where I'm standing. You are right, child. Three people. You are right, child. Somebody is writing it for the fourth time. That person, you are the one. This will be the last time. Do you know me? Come, come and stand. Well, please remind me in case I forget this jam thing. We have to settle it once and for all. Please, people are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me. Please lift your hands. Not these ones. Those ones exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right? God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes inside is just a fraction of those outside and i want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that god is able to visit you and to minister to you hallelujah those outside here there are at least two of you fire is coming upon you right now i see the power of darkness being broken lord where are they right now i stretch hands in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this anointing wherever they are father there is a lady right now it's like fire is coming upon you right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that fire is coming upon you all of you standing here i prophesy to you 
in the name that is above all names hear me whatever has tied your progress i'm talking to those here i stand under this anointing and i declare a change of story right now benway state there's someone here from benway benway um benway state you have an elder brother please make sure that you don't come out we are not faking this thing please you have an elder brother where God is visiting your family, visiting your family in strange ways, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation and the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please listen, listen. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't come and waste your time. God brought you here to wipe your tears. Any family here, you have tried and tried and tried. Doors have refused to open. I open it for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody here, you are looking for a job, June. Um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June. I see a job coming. This is what God is saying. I don't know who I'm speaking, but God is meaning somebody. Your name is Grace. Where is your mother? Kogi State. I need to pray for you because there's wisdom. I take authority over that spirit. In the name of Jesus. I need to pray for somebody, two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Um, what's the name of that? It's not just stab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll i'll pray for you and brother here listen listen god is speaking to you you came for koinonia but you left a lady in your room you left a lady in your room you told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back please don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble god is saving you send her a text now to go home you are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen in some at least three ladies. Severe menstrual pain. This is not this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region. Right now, the fire of God is going to come on some ladies. I take authority over that spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, right now, I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now. It will come upon you like fire. I take authority over it. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is a lady that the Lord is showing me. For four months, you have not seen your period. Four months, you have not seen your period. I think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see someone's family um, like relative in prison. There's somebody here like that in prison. One of your relatives. I don't know if it's in a police station or prison, something like that. God is doing a miracle. Who is that? There's somebody like that. You're the one come. Who is in prison? Your nephew. Are you sure? Which prison? He's in Gobe State. How long is his tenure? Five years. Five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Oh, Lift your hands for him. God. And let the name of Jesus step in and give him. You know me, my Lord.
Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You, this, are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You, lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family is experiencing I will praise you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph, you are wearing a short Joseph is wearing a short dress. Joseph. I will pray for you, but the Joseph is inside you now. Who is that? Come out. Your name is Joseph. I will pray for you. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Something will come on you. You are still there. You are in comfort. God is white. In the name of Jesus Christ, a new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? You are done with German. What you want to study? I think engineering. Agri. You are going to be a businessman. And God is going to honor you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There's an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord would lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is married. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. I will praise you. Not you or your sister. And I will your sister is barren. How many years? Six years. You follow me. How, how many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam, look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problem. No, 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 not I, I'm going to for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? I'm going to start as a stranger. No more desire. You get discouraged easily. God is saying that you should be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. Start as a stranger. The Lord is bringing me to a new dimension. I'm on my way to better I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release 
fruitfulness please be sensitive everybody inside and outside is using children as a point of contact but this will affect every other area's life every other body's um how many years six six years your sister yes where is she she's in zara how about you 11 years oh my god wow. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please, don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues. Believe me, when I tell you there will be testimonies. If you are standing here for yourself, just move this way. If you are standing for yourself, move this way, please. So that I know Please, just move here. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because this is God is to Please, this way. Just let there be a separation. My, my brothers and sisters, please see how many people the devil is tying down. The Lord is bringing you into an anointing. It's a healing anointing that is coming on you. I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head. You, you looking at me. Something is being activated in your spirit, man. Step into that oil, that fountain. It's that healing anointing. Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands. You, out, right now, right now. It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. I see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children. For your loved ones. Miracle children. They take in right now. And nine months after now, they give birth to their children. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. God bless you. Those who are standing here, I'm going to pray for you. Please make sure you are married. If you are not married, please don't embarrass yourself. Go back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for those who are standing for themselves. We have to pray. That's why you came. Hallelujah. Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? 
eight solid years and god gave her triplets they are still alive till today triplets triplets please i want you to believe god if you are standing husband and wife no problem you are standing for your wife no problem just make sure you are married that's the only thing we're saying please i'm going to pray for you stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now in the name of jesus i don't care what the problem is jesus is stepping in my confidence the source of my strength are you the strength of my life are you my open my joy are you hey, my confidence are you I looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me Your mercy is everlasting, undenying, overwhelming. I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My open, my joy are you. Hey, My confidence are you. The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My open, my joy My confidence are you. Hey, I am miracle madam go and return back with your child in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let this womb be open in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus madam you are coming back with a testimony what is there has been removed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord wipes your tears right now in the name of Jesus where is your husband sir please stand near your wife there's a reason why the Lord is asking can you hold her hands hold on I don't care what the doctors say you are returning with your testimony The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle. A miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast we'll pray for this just for one minute and then i'll begin to prophesy there are people who have not yet received what they came for here please just be patient with us please this is a miracle service right so that we can justify our coming please let's rise we'll just do this in one minute i'd like you to believe stretch your hands here right now stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray prophesy over it your request is here Lord we turn it into a testimony please make sure those outside their requests are here too 
If they are here to collect your request, just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you. Are you praying? Prophesy. Father, this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Shebakarota supra di shebererebosh. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Miracles. Upon miracles. Miracles. Visit everyone. Visit issues of concern. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received. We have to pray in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to believe God and lift your hands. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting off with direction. There are people here who came praying, Lord, what is the next step of my destiny? Wherever you are, I'm prophesying to you. As I speak, fire will come upon you just on your head. Some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Supernatural direction. Help that guy. In the name of Jesus. Every confusion in your life. Those outside, make sure you participate. Someone is asking, oh God. What is the next step? I pray by this anointing, receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. In the name of Jesus. Someone's marital destiny is under siege. Right now, in the name that is above all names. An anointing, a yoke breaker anointing. I prophesy, receive it right now. I open those doors right now. Inside, outside. I open those doors right now. Hallelujah. There's someone praying. You are asking God for money for rent. Rent. The Lord is telling me that between now and Monday morning, there is a miracle coming for you. There is a miracle coming for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are ladies who have, even guys, this spell of disfavor. Please listen. In the name of Jesus, you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face. I see many people being affected by this. Lord, where are they? That mark of disfavor by this anointing right now. Right now, I break that mark. Right now, inside, outside, in the name of Jesus. I tell of that mark, Kaparata Kalatosia, that mark of disfavor, that embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
listen you have come to the end of your road and if God does not step in there will not be any way out I pray for you that door closed over your destiny that will not allow you move to the next level I stand under this anointing in this miracle service and I prophesy I command that door to open right now oh come on believe it believe it I command that door to open shakatata deke poroso bariata I command that door to open swing open in the name of Jesus whatever has been emerged from heaven to enter your hand and is yet to enter your hand please stretch your hands towards me Shalakataya. in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands back receive it right now receive it receive it receive it right now everything that must enter your hand inside and outside I command it from the realm of the spirit I deliver it to your hands in the name of Jesus hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow i command your family grow i command your finances grow i command your ministry grow hallelujah I pray for you you hear me pray this all the time because I've seen what it can do in the life of a man where are your destiny helpers if there is one prayer you must receive in this place listen God can use men to help a man and in one day God can bring the right people to wipe your tears lift your hands in the name of Jesus the son of the living God where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help as you lift your hands let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call help us right now right now right now i release that anointing upon you for help for help for help for help take it receive it the anointing listen all you need in your life one person can just tell you do a b c or i know a who can do b for you and it can open you up to a whole new world one more time i pray i call them from the north the south if they are in zaria here we call them if they are in kaduna state we call them any part of nigeria receive their ministry now receive their ministry now whoever has vowed to destroy your life i'm praying oh this is judgment in the name that is above all names if there is any human entity standing i declare let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment listen when pharaoh refused to allow egypt israel go god took his firstborn whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go we take it tonight in the name of jesus hear me let me tell you the truth there are men that hold the destinies of people low i teach you principles of success but i'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill whoever kept your destiny at a standstill in the name that is above all names 
I put an anointing upon you. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus. Go forward. I prophesy in your career. Go forward. In every area of your life. Hallelujah. Let me speak over our finances. You see what is happening around the nation. Father, we believe in the power to prosper and we believe in favor. Ah, there is such a thing, my brother and my sister, called favor. Lift your hands, my God and my King. That anointing for favor that was on Joseph, that anointing that made five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people, wherever you are, May that anointing come on your life right now. It's coming on people. May that anointing come upon you. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. Some of us are moving, but our pace is too slow. That's the truth. We need acceleration. We are moving, but your pace is too slow. There are things you should do in two weeks, not three years. There are things you should do in one day. I'm praying for you. The Bible says, and the hand of God came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. The anointing that must come upon you, that between now and next month miracle service, what has not happened from when Koinonia started, may the God that I serve release it into your life i command speed 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 i prophesy it speed hallelujah all those writing jam lift your hands it's time for you to move forward if you are not writing you can stand in for somebody maybe your loved ones or whatever in the name of jesus the Bible says, and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom, hear me, Daniel was found ten times better. That ten times better unction. As you write your jam, may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of Jesus. There are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do you will know what to do in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm led to pray for those in final year i don't know why but the holy spirit is speaking to me we need to release you there are things that have come up some of us physically speaking is obvious there is trouble where is that God who can correct a man's mistake? I pray for you. In the name that is above all names, you will graduate this year. I said you will graduate this year. I don't know how it will happen, but you must graduate this year. I'm a victor in this life anointed by the power of the spirit come on prophesy say you are anointed call yourself the anointed the holy spirit lives in you his energy his ability his wisdom his grace the understanding of the word of god puts you in a position of victory i am well favored the hand of god is upon my life Blessed in the city, so says the word of God. Blessed in the country, his word is upon my lips. His favor is upon my head. I am a victor in this life. I refuse to fear. I refuse fear. Perfect love casts out fear. For God has not given me the spirit of timidity but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. I arise and I shine, for my light is come. 
the glory of the Lord is risen upon me I dwell in the house of God and so I flourish in the courts of the Lord I am not a victim no I refuse to be a victim there is wisdom for me go ahead and pray you are not a confused person refuse confusion for there is a voice that speaks to your spirit man directing you showing you the path of life says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path it gives me guidance gives me direction Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I've said it here. A true leader does not maintain followers. He raises other leaders. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow some of you will be the ones standing in your ministries. In your organizations. Our job is to train you. To do a good work and prepare you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not just raising a prosperous people. We're not just raising a people of understanding. A people of power, of grace, of faith, fearless. The depth of your understanding in the word of God is what gives you faith and stability. So that you are unshakable and immovable. Bible says, I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. No one can preach me out of this reality. Hallelujah. And tonight i don't want you to just join the crowd jumping and shouting make sure you take the word of god very seriously hallelujah thank you jesus tonight i'm going to be teaching on spiritual perception now i need you to follow very closely this teaching because in this prayer series we're going to be activating certain things in our lives that will cause us to walk like kings that we are hallelujah please be seated god bless you blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Acts chapter 14. Acts chapter 14. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Acts chapter 14 begin our reading from verse 6 Acts 14 verse 6 Hallelujah We've been teaching and bringing us into the understanding that we are spiritual people Hallelujah The Bible teaches of three classes of people One he calls the natural man now please look up the natural man the bible says is that man that does not understand the things of the spirit why because the holy spirit does not live in him hallelujah and if the holy spirit does not live in him the things of the spirit appear as foolishness are you following me now and so the natural man is the one who is not regenerated not born again has not had any encounter with the spirit of god the one we call the unbeliever then the bible talks to us about another class of people and he calls them the carnal ones the word carnal doesn't just mean worldly it means one who is ruled by his senses are you following me now 
one whose flesh is the governing factor in his life so one who is led by the things he or she sees and hears and your sensory perception bible says in romans chapter 8 verse 1 he says there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit he said for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus hath set me free from the law of sin and death he said for what the law could not do in that it was weak in the flesh so the law weak in the flesh and so those who are governed by their senses they are governed by the limitations of this realm the things that they feel their perception their reality is based on their sensory perception bible calls them the carnal ones hallelujah and it's religion that brings carnality when people have knowledge a form of godliness but deny the power and then the bible talks about a third class of people called the spiritual ones the spiritual ones who they are the ones who by reason of an experiential walking with the holy spirit over time have come to a point where they have exalted the presence of god and the word of god his word and his voice above and beyond their senses they have come to a, an experiential reality where the word of god becomes the governing factor of their lives they are led by the spirit they are led by the word the word of god paints the picture of their new reality their senses has lost the ability to draw a picture of their future and their destiny they only see things from god's perspective let me tell you something about perception in the spirit in the physical realm when you talk to people they speak to you based on their level of perception how they see reality are you following me now for instance in geography basic geography they teach us that the sun rises from where the east and sets where in the west from this plane of reality that is true is that correct but when you go outside of earth you will know that that reality no longer exists is that correct based on a new plane that you are standing on you see that the sun is not rising and setting it's static and the planets are revolving around it hallelujah and so we must get to that point where we become spiritual people not just in word that the holy spirit leads us to a plane in the spirit where we stand from god's perspective and we begin to view life not from the perspective of education and government and the policies of men that come with their frailties and limitations that we stand from his plane and begin to judge things spiritually hallelujah the bible says that the spiritual man is judged of no man because he lives by the word he lives by the spirit so god is helping us so that we will walk in the spirit galatians chapter 5 verse 16 so then walk in the spirit and ye shall not gratify the desires of the flesh it says for the spirit lusted after the flesh and the flesh lusted after the spirit and both of them are consistently under contention and so it tells us that the way forward is to walk in the spirit to live in the spirit to come to that point where we not only function as intellectual people but we function as spiritual men hallelujah thank you jesus acts chapter 14 verse 6 and they were aware of it and fled to lystra and derby cities of Ly lyconia and unto the region that lieth round about seven and there they preached the gospel verse 8 he says and there sat a certain man at lystra impotent in his feet being a cripple from birth who never walked the same had paul speak who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed now the bible uses 
very interesting word he says that paul was preaching and he saw a man who was impotent and while paul was preaching he turned and he perceived in his spirit that that man had faith that was able to cause him to be healed hallelujah spiritual perception the art of knowing and relating with your spiritual senses hallelujah when you get born again let me tell you something to be spiritually dead does not just mean that the holy spirit is away from your life it means that your organs of expression and interaction with the realm of the spirit have been deadened are you following me now the bible makes us to understand that god designed man to be able to function both in the realm of the spirit and to function in this realm are you following me now the bible says that god made adam man dust and breathed upon that man the breath of life the spirit of god and that man became a living soul capable of relating with both realms are you following me now now when the holy spirit left man what are, it wasn't just that man lost righteousness but he came to a point where he was spiritually dead because the holy spirit left him his organs of expression and interaction with the realm of the spirit became dead are you following me now that was the beginning of what we call experiment a true spiritual man does not experiment adam named the animal without making any reference to any biological material the word name the animal does not mean he called lion lion it's science that called lion lion adam gave lion its identity hallelujah and so when man fell he no longer was able to normally relate with the realm of the spirit and interact his sense of hearing seeing perceiving and knowing can i tell you something in biology they teach us that we have how many senses let's do a quick review name them one two so uh, what is what's the third one hallelujah basic biology now we are taught that we have five senses hallelujah but in the realm of the spirit you have more than five senses are you following me now I, i've read books about spiritual senses and people say you oh, no 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 there are certain manifestations in the spirit that do not have an explanation in this realm for instance what ability of the spirit do you use to know things you need a mind to know things in this realm in the realm of the spirit if you touch the flower in the realm of the spirit you don't know it by studying it you have the feeling of becoming that flower and instantly you have every knowledge that you require about that flower are you following me now in the realm of the spirit there is no time and there is no distance are you following me now these are spiritual realities you you do not measure time you you cannot measure time time is irrelevant in the realm of the spirit this is why god says a thousand years is like a day before him so as far as he's concerned the promises he made in your life he still made them today and while you are grumbling and complaining and say lord five years god says this is you are talking from a fleshly point of view when you rise and become spiritual you will know that it's still one day god is still faithful hallelujah because he functions from the realm of eternity ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 the bible says that he makes all things beautiful in his time and he has put eternity in the heart of man and so the realm of the spirit is an interesting realm in the realm of the spirit there are no secrets are you following me now no secrets if we're all to be caught up in the spirit right now you need to confess and repent and roll on the floor because there are no secrets in the spirit that's why the bible calls him the father of light in whom there is no shadow of turning all things lay bare in the realm of the spirit and every time you begin to that's where we get the concept of what we call imagination comes from the hebrew word yazar the ability to conceive things until they crystallize and become a reality in the spirit 
That's how demons and all of these mind readers and sorcerers are able to tap into the spirit. You see, there are several planes in the spirit. The realm of the spirit is not heaven. The realm of the spirit is a spiritual environment that is real, just like this. Are you following me now? So when you get caught up, there are many people who are smiling. They've been caught up into the realm of demons and sorcerers, astrologers, mind readers, and all of these people. They function from the realm of the spirit. That's why they can tell you certain things about your life. Because what you call future, when you go to the realm of the spirit, you find out that it's not future. It's only future according to this realm. That's why God gave us expo. He says you want to reign in life, see it in the spirit. You will always be ahead in this life and then you reproduce it in this realm. If there is victory in the spirit, then there must be victory in this realm. That's why the kings, every time they would go to war, they would call the priests and the prophets. See in the spirit and tell us, are we wasting our time? Or oh, this is a victorious battle. And the prophets will come and say, I have seen it. There is victory. Hallelujah. But the society has trained us to be carnal people who walk after our senses. And get whipped and punished by the vicissitudes of life. Hallelujah. The realm of the spirit is very powerful one time i was caught up in the spirit and i looked at people and all i was seeing was light they were emitting different different um magnitudes and colors of light and the holy spirit spoke to me and he told me this light is the degree and the depth of christ that has been formed in the people hallelujah and your strength is gauged in the spirit by the degree of light that you emit that's what we do in quantum physics when you want to know things about elements you expose them to light and they reveal certain things where did they learn that principle from why do you think quantum physics is hard because it's an attempt to study realities that can only be explained in the spirit don't blame yourself because your lecturer called you stupid he has not yet come to the realm of the spirit to understand how hard things are you should clap for me come on I qualify to work as a counselor hallelujah there are many of us who when we get born again and get filled with the Holy Spirit we are not taught how to begin to interact with the atmosphere of the Spirit and if you are not taught you can get into error because suddenly you find out that your organs of expression and interaction with the realm of the spirit are coming alive and then you do not know how to navigate through the path of the spirit and then we begin to hear voices and have expressions that we cannot explain and this is why this teaching is preparing us are you getting blessed the bible says paul was preaching and suddenly there was a signal in his spirit man the bible calls it perception the ability to perceive realities hallelujah when you get born again and the holy spirit comes to live in you when you're filled with the holy ghost and you begin to pray in tongues you see when for many of us who have been taught that this tongues thing is only raising pentecostals you are cheating yourself there are certain levels of light and glory and power you can never walk in God gave you the blessings of the gift of these tongues to cause you to activate your organs of expression and interaction in the spirit. Suddenly you begin to pray in tongues. And while you are praying in tongues, suddenly you feel a cool sensation. And you cannot explain, you cannot account for. A few minutes later, your body is burning. What language is being communicated? Suddenly, your eyes and your hands, it looks like there is a particular operation of the spirit that causes only your eyes to begin to burn. Lord, what are you saying? What spiritual language is this? What organ of expression is being activated in the spirit? And suddenly, you are praying. And sometimes, you have to turn because you sense you are not alone in that place of prayer and then you cannot even understand your organs of interaction with the spirit they are getting enlightened and built and activated by the power of the spirit and you begin to pray 
and there is a manifestation and you begin to hear all kinds of sounds sometimes you hear voices choir singing and angel manifestations you feel oil crowns on your head all kinds of things fire sometimes you are praying and in less than one minute you sit down and fall asleep and you cannot even explain what happened it's important that we train ourselves to understand these things because these are the weapons of victory in the spirit and if you do not understand you will feel that the holy spirit is not leading you are you getting blessed tonight thank you lord jesus christ perceptions in the spirit there are many of us who pray and suddenly you go blank for a few minutes then you come back and you cannot even explain what has happened you just know that in that split seconds when you start writing what you saw it will take an hour and you're saying what is this in less than a minute in earthly time you got realities that will take you an hour and religious people will say well just mind your business with this your things you are doing but the holy spirit is calling you to understand the atmosphere of the spirit when danger is about to happen to someone somehow there is an ability of the spirit that is at work in you and when you train yourself to understand these perceptions you will be able to flow as a king in this life and in this realm you will never be taken aback so when someone comes and wants to do business with your father the moment you want to move there it comes again the spirit your organs of interaction in the spirit no matter what evidences you have there is are you listening to me if you do not realize that you are a spiritual man you will be cheated in this life because you will miss out on certain things there there is a way that the holy spirit communicates to me every time I'm, I'm entering new seasons in my life can i tell you something there is no hard and fast rule into walking in these things it is a personal product of your dealings with the spirit that's why you cannot just write book and a, a book and say every time you feel it is the healing anointing no sir it's true that the healing anointing is associated with heat and all of this you can't just generalize it you will lead people into error because as you stay with the holy spirit he begins to teach you what he will reveal as his impressions he will teach you his language and his code that is customized to just you and when you stand to minister that's how sometimes we minister it doesn't mean we always see visions there are times that i'm moving and there is an operation and there is perception in my spirit and i know not just that the anointing is there but the kind of anointing that is there and you don't waste your time trying to heal headache when there is an anointing to heal cancer and then you keep struggling until your spiritual antenna keeps navigating and suffering then when you finally hit it then there looks like a breakthrough have you seen people in meetings who suffer and do every spiritual gymnastic they don't seem to connect then it's like an antenna while they are tuning somehow whether by mistake or by mercy they just hit it suddenly you begin to see that people get blessed and instead of the person to go back and say lord let it not happen again the person laughs and say wow that's a powerful meeting open your eyes open your ears and soon you understand that the lord is here open your eyes open your ears then you'll understand that the lord is here there are some of us who begin to pray and then you find out that you begin to have strange experiences where you can begin to talk about someone and you are not really seeing any vision in the spirit yet you can describe the person with accuracy and detail and his clothes you don't know where you are seeing from you just know that you are talking there is someone wearing a blue dress standing you weave your hair how you are getting it you cannot even understand you are not really seeing any vision people think you are seeing a picture you are this there is an agency in the spirit that cannot be explained in this realm but it's a tool for interaction then you are able to relate with the spiritual atmosphere 
and then you speak with accuracy and precision organs of expression in the spirit as i'm speaking to you god is activating these things because he's giving you explanations then at certain times you're just moving and these perceptions do you realize every single one of us in this place the holy spirit has been communicating to you through this means it's only that we have not been trained to understand that these are the promptings and the communications of the spirit this is the first step into the manifestation of the prophetic that you can understand your organs of interaction in the spirit there are times you sit down and many of us suddenly begin to see flashes of lightning in different colors and you do not realize that what you are attempting to see is the manifestation of angels you just think you are seeing ribbons moving around who told you they are called ribbons they appear and move so fast the bible says he maketh his angels wings he uses the word pneuma wings hallelujah spirit of the lord many times when you're standing and the lord wants to call you to a place where he will reveal secrets to you there are ways he begins to lure you but when your organs of expressions are deadened and they are not trained to understand that the lord is beckoning on you the man called bishop oyeriko said he was moving and the lord told him go to a solitary place i want to speak to you how many of us have missed out on secrets that would have been communicated unto us if we only understood that these operations of the spirit were languages paul said there are voices we have been trained you see in this realm if, if you do not rise above this realm you will try to relate with the spirit using your knowledge of this realm there are more organs of interaction in the spirit than we have in this realm if you can believe that that's the first step to begin to walk with the spirit the concept of hearing god and walking and flowing with the spirit have never been a difficult phenomenon we are just we just we we have not been trained to understand i've said it here let me tell you something about the voice of god now i'm going to shock many of you do you realize that god does not speak what you hear that you think is his english it's not english the language of god is light are you listening to me strong presence in this place the language of god is light i've explained this but let me show you i'll prove it to you scientifically if you want to send a text message from your phone to this person's phone what happens you type the message when you send it it goes as what help me please it goes as what do you see it do you realize that the text you send flows from the realm of the spirit to get to the recipient we live in the spirit every day and we call it science the moment is in the spirit no time and no distance that's why i can get to london in that instance are you following me you can stay and send press and send instantly someone at the north pole will receive an alert let me tell you something follow me once it's in the realm of the spirit time and distance does not exist but watch this when it gets to the person's phone when it gets to the person's phone listen the phone has been configured to interpret and convert what that light is saying into a language that you can understand that's why russians use handset indonesians use handset are you following me now so when how many of you have received text messages and you just saw jugular jugular nonsense there because your phone cannot interpret maybe it's an mms but your phone has not been configured to interpret mms message and so the the words in your phone will try to downgrade what that light is trying to say as best as it can and then you begin to see arrows and star it's attempting to tell you there is a message upgrade your phone and then you will see it perception in the spirit for many times when he beckons on us and he's speaking the insufficiency of the word of god frustrates the manifestation of his voice in your spirit man and then you are not able to understand what he's saying that's why people receive half revelations part revelations and sometimes god steps in by his mercy to give you pictures
scriptures and give you words just a phrase of a song or use the face of somebody that can be a symbol of what he's trying to say that your spirit cannot receive a spiritual man able to interact with the realm of the spirit when you understand spiritual perception it will be your key to walking away from danger many people suffer because they are trying to heal the sick the bible says that paul was preaching he didn't just blindly get up and say i have faith i'm a man of god he was waiting for these promptings of the spirit that's why sometimes you see us just worship i say what are these people doing we are waiting there is a language we don't just function foolishly and then suddenly you hear us say cancer cancer why not headache cancer because over time when you stay with the spirit he trains you as you build yourself in the place of prayer this is one of the things that happens your organs of expression there is stamina in your spirit your ability to understand and interpret the language of the spirit and then every time he gives you those promptings again then you know that this is what the spirit is saying how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind i know you've had this song just listen to me how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the wind his power at work in you is changing everything in obedience there are many of us who were told days before the armed robbers came to your house you knew it the holy spirit kept beckoning on you but because we are not able to understand the promptings of the spirit there are many times you sit down in the car to go to go somewhere and the holy spirit begins to communicate to you when you understand this you will reign in this life are you getting blessed tonight you better be interested in what i'm saying so when you pray there is a rising your spirit is rising in science when when water gains energy what happens it changes state from ice to liquid to vapor that's what happens to your spirit man when you gain energy there, there comes a change of state and you keep rising to the plain and the mountain of god and when you allow the holy spirit to train you sufficiently you see a list of job offers and instantly you know which one to go to. because every time you lay your hands to pray he begins to lead you friends i hope you know that this is what they do to occultic people the moment you are initiated he's not initiated i'm using him as an example the moment you are initiated what happens they come to you in the night they are attempting to activate your organs of expression in the spirit and they begin to show you things that you have never seen suddenly you see a lizard then you see a picture you think is a dream and it disappears and suddenly you see some people bring you and then for many people they say a a matured man like this <laughs> they say traveling in what granite seed or something now they are frustrating science to make the spirit alive in you that cannot be understood scientifically after a while you conceive it as a reality and you begin to walk in that light the grandmother in your village sits down and just perceives that your brother is going to excel and through that perception they use incantation to confirm it and sits down there with her old stick and shouts and says come back to the village and die and she goes to bed and the senseless carnal minded businessman is meandering the streets of london and for reasons you cannot account for you will take a flight and come back and then you come and die in the village we are not just raising men of understanding but men of power let me tell you some of you will rise tonight with an anger because suddenly you will see that so this has been the promptings of the spirit sometimes when you're sleeping immediately your your peace is taken away and it says get up many of you are waiting for get up get 
the IT. Wait there until your destiny catches fire. And you get up. And then you pray for five minutes and convince yourself you are done. You pray till the promptings change. And sometimes it will take days for it to change. Are you following me now? Thank you, Jesus. There are times that suddenly, for no reason, you find the Holy Spirit calling you and He says, Three days, I want you to pray. At least three to four hours, three days. He's pressing up your spirit for something to come. And then when you hear it, your spirit is alive. You who would have fallen on this news, you stand and you say, No, I know God is alive. Stamina has been built because of the ability to perceive spiritual things. hallelujah Paul was preaching and while he was preaching his organs of expression in the spirit his sense of perception sight and sound by reason of praying in the spirit had been activated and he kept looking at that man waiting to perceive the moment he perceived it said that's it stand up and he arose God's generals it was said that there was one of them who had an angel who would always come and stand and if that angel didn't come he will never do anything he would just be worshiping and the people say this guy don't waste our time he says i cannot do anything according to the training that was given to me it was said to me that when i see this angel it may not be so for you see be careful when you read books because many people take their spiritual experiences and build doctrines out of it you are not permitted to build a doctrine out of your experience you can share it to guide people but the word of god is the more sure word of prophecy so i can share with you how i flow in the spirit i can share with you how i know that this is what god is saying i should do i can show it i can you see that the prophets in the bible operated at different levels and frequencies of perception ezekiel would be caught up in the spirit then he saw the bones and instantly he knew they were very dry let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth hallelujah interactions of the spirit your ability to perceive realities in the spirit when your organs of expression in the spirit are trained let me tell you something you will command power in this realm so if you are not a man and a woman of prayer prayer is not an option are you listening to me it's not it's not something for men of god if you you want to flow in power no you've got to be men and women who understand how to navigate the path of the spirit there are many times you enter to pray the moment you shut yourself while you're going bah, 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 God say, ah, i didn't bring you here to pray just sit down take your bible and sit down quietly or for some of you god will say just be walking up and down don't pray just keep moving just stroll and people see you hold your notebook and you're just moving and they say oh god i'm saying you should pray you are eyeing me god is saying just keep flowing and while you're flowing suddenly you begin to sense the changes in the atmosphere of the spirit you cannot explain it in this realm but you know that this is a journey in the spirit you may not understand but you know you know that you are going somewhere you are not just moving left and right you are climbing planes in the spirit when you get to that place where god wants you to get to he will say now son begin to pray and i will show you something 
suddenly you begin to pray mantabo satire then a vision is open unto you and you will see the room that you were walking to that just looked like you were moving up and down and god begins to communicate to you secrets bible says the secrets of lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants Yahweh 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 Take us to that plane, oh God Yahweh Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. When you become a man and a woman of prayer, you begin to perceive. You know in the spirit. You cannot tell how it is done. Suddenly you are praying and you are searching for a scripture. And then you just know that it's in Isaiah. How you cannot tell. Sometimes the Holy Spirit tells you, go to Isaiah 6 verse 44. Sometimes he just says, go, just go there. He speaks to you because he's talking to your spirit man. It's your mind that does not know where that scripture is. Your spirit knows. And when you allow your spirit, you will turn to that exact verse. I was searching for this scripture. While I was... I was just preparing and searching for the scripture the lord said okay let's do a quick training let your spirit man take place i will not tell you the scripture don't search for it let your spirit man find expression suddenly i don't know how i knew it i just went straight acts chapter 14 and there it was there are times that people come to cover my eyes and i tell them don't tell me who you are i use every opportunity to train my ability to perceive things in the spirit there are times that you begin to pray and when the host of heaven comes you know you know how many of you have just sat down and then your friend wants to come and cover your eyes and then you just turn who told you he was coming your spirit man your spirit man your spirit man you are in the room and suddenly you are moving and you just know i'm not alone and then you sense when you train yourself you can know that oh angels are in this room then you suddenly know that no there is a presence these are not angels these are not angels they are beings in this room but they are not angels as you walk around your house you perceive their presence everywhere and you know kenneth e hagin walked in this dimension of perception to a point that he would see the angels he knew them by name and when they showed up in his meeting he would greet them and say how are you can you imagine You just drop in your house as soon as you lift your hands to knock the door you know that darkness is over this territory and suddenly you look and you tell your father and you tell your friends there's no time to greet you i'll greet you after three days there is darkness they say what do you mean darkness we're enjoying seriously in fact we just got a breakthrough we said that's what you are you are judging as a carnal man i'm speaking to you from the plane of the spirit i do not see light you are celebrating light but what i perceive is darkness let us get to the place of prayer and as you begin to pray in the spirit these mysteries are unveiled to you many of us judge things sometimes satan deceives you and then when you see a breakthrough you are smiling in the physical realm well god how many of you have gotten certain blessings but there's no rest over that blessing yet it's not like you know it's god but it looks like no 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 this this is not all the story yet something while you want to relax god says this is not the time to sit down you just sense it many foolish people that's the time we sit down and cross our leg when a ministry is expanding and people are coming my soul find rest but a man who stays upon the mountain judges from that perspective and he looks at that plane and he knows that although this is it this is what god wants to do Yahweh 
Yahweh Yahweh Yahweh Yahweh Yahweh Teach us your ways, O oh God Teach us your ways, O oh God Hallelujah. This is how I receive some of the songs that we share here. I've told you again and again that most of the songs I bring are not composed. As I allow my spirit man to interact with the realm of the spirit, suddenly I begin to hear voices. That's how the song Adonai came. It was a song that I heard the angels singing. Adonai Lamb of God That's why it comes with a touch of eternity You are worthy Worthy of my praise King of kings Lord of lords Let your kingdom reign in my heart Let your kingdom reign in my heart the angels sing this song Adonai Sing Adonai Adonai Sing Adonai Kingdom reign. I'm not a superstar. These are realities in the spirit. They are for your reach. When I hear the sound of angelic choir, I don't just hear tenor, alt alto, and soprano. They are a million parts combined together. And that's why, hear me, when the music directors function under the anointing they begin to put in the parts that can attempt to synchronize the have you ever worshiped god and you got to a point where you know you are rising in that worship that's why when you start worshiping god, worshiping god any mistake will bring you back to that realm that's why we press for perfection because when you begin to worship suddenly from the corridors of heaven the saints begin to join in that worship and there is a union of the families in heaven and the earth Abraham Isaac Jacob the saints they join us in that worship and there is a strong presence there are some songs that seem to be timeless they carry certain anointings and certain presence you sing them again sometimes you don't know all the songs but that part you know is able to help you relate with the spirit when god wants to take you through certain planes what happens is that he shows you hear me he shows you some songs and those songs are able to help you they are vehicles of transportation they are not a means for special number every that's why you see us sing certain songs and we keep repeating them muimaka 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 sujada naimaka ni naimaka naimaka sujada ni naimaka 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 ehe sujada naimaka ni naimaka ni naimaka sujada naimaka naimaka while you are singing you do not realize that you are climbing a ladder in the spirit your abilities increase that's why sometimes you see that the worshipers don't change songs they keep repeating they keep repeating your flesh 
may just be singing and is weak but God is saying keep singing you are climbing the more you sing you are exposed to a greater dimension of his light and power perception the ability to know to recognize and to align with the operation of the realm of the spirit the voice of the spirit his promptings his dealings his leading so you train your spirit man in the place of prayer you rise to that plane in the spirit where these operations are no longer foreign to you so you exist both as a physical homo sapien and as a spiritual man there are some of us that when you begin to pray the moment you are praying in the spirit suddenly a river of joy breaks open in your spirit in the darkest of times physically suddenly the holy spirit tells you start singing a song of thanksgiving start giving thanks and say lord for what i just had a report he says see i'm showing you what is happening in the heavens and you begin to rejoice and people say you are mad you say no i'm not mad i'm only alive in the spirit and you begin to give him praise you give him praise you worship and you are sweating you are not praying you lock yourself you just rejoice again and again and you rejoice for the bible says with joy shall you draw out of the wells in the realm of the spirit joy is a fetter it's not just a phenomenon every time there is heaviness god brings a garment and he calls it praise when the psalm was caught up he saw that praise is not just a phenomenon i saw in the realm of the spirit that the moment they begin to make music these sounds you are hearing they are living things in the spirit they are living things let me show you a scripture psalms 49 i want to show you a powerful scripture and you understand why we play music as we sing psalms 49 soon going to rise up and pray I give you the highest, highest praise to me. I give you the loudest, loudest praise to me. I lift my holy hand, highest praise to the King. I give you, I give you, I give you. listen i need you to know hear me you hear what they are playing these are chords in the spirit they speak languages are you listening to me so when a spirit filled keyboard is sits he begins to play by the spirit every key from do re mi fa so all of them are languages in the spirit your ability to combine the codes there is a language he speaks let me show you psalms 49 verse 3 it says my mouth shall speak of wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding verse 4 
I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open up my dark sayings upon the harp. Upon the harp. There's something I will do to your spirit. That every time I hear the harp play, it will position your spirit in a way that you begin to unveil dark sayings. Bible says for they know not neither do they understand they grow up in darkness and so the earth is out of course have I not said that you are gods and all of you are children of the most high it takes the understanding on how to navigate the paths and the planes of the spirit this is what gives victory this is the tool you need if you can get this and you can catch this you can be a victor in this life. No matter what happens, you will emerge victorious. For you will know when there is victory in the spirit. You will know when there is a cause for travail. When you do not understand the things that are happening around you, you will switch to the frequency of the spirit for explanation. What meaneth these things, oh Lord? And it begins to speak unto your spirit. Now as we examine this series on prayer I want you to pray with understanding many people pray foolishly that's why we do not reap the benefits of prayer prayer is not just a sign of spirituality there's more to that God cannot be joking with you he's not playing games he's not playing pranks hallelujah perception in the spirit we live in a day and age where many people just sit down and evil comes to sweep them with no knowledge whatsoever not with the spiritual man not with the spiritual man for every time you rain from the heavens and there is a perception if it is true that you are seated with Christ it must translate just from confession to becoming your reality and it's our job in this place to build men and women who are spiritual you don't get spiritual because of ministry when we begin to get spiritual the next thing we begin to envision pulpit no it's the secret for life and in the next few minutes the spirit of prayer will fall upon us let me tell you something i need you to pray in these weeks that we're entering into is a time of prayer there's no room for laziness except you're not interested in growth want your spirit man to come alive you're not filled with the holy ghost right here right now there's no time to do the teaching for you but you will receive there is enough power to get you started we'll explain it later hallelujah so we are going to pray rise up on your feet say quicken us and we shall call upon your name we need a generation of power men who have power with god the miraculous and the supernatural realm was never designed to be for preachers we will cheat you and will be wicked people if all we're interested in is being superstars on stage as you pray hear me for many of you there will be an activation an activation insight in the spirit insight in the spirit sound people i want you to follow me please with the clash of the symbol and every spiritual mystery go ahead and pray if your seat is inconveniencing you push it away for the next 15 minutes in the spirit Come on, pray. Inside and outside. Shake the 
destiny for your life, for your destiny. Do it for your destiny. Do it for your family. Do it for your generation. Do it for your generation. Come on. Generate power. Generate power. Power in the spirit. Power in the heavens. Generals Commanding power In the heavens Power in the spirit That you will be An inferno of fire That cannot be touched Not by sickness Not by failure that you will know the promptings of the spirit and how to navigate the planes and the parts of the spirit. Let the least among us be a person of power. Power in the heavens. Where signs and wonders become our natural life. Where signs and wonders. Come on, pray. That you be men of faith. When you pray, you will have faith. When you pray, Faith will arise. Build it up yourselves on your most holy faith. Build it up yourselves on your most holy faith. Build it up yourselves. The ability to trust God, the capacity to believe. Brought that in the place of prayer, the capacity to see the unseen, to hear the unheard, the capacity. To believe God, the capacity to rise above your senses. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hear me. Hallelujah. Listen, friends. Hear me. This is how spiritual men are groomed and trained. This is how men become signs. They don't just manifest signs. They become it. This is how men become men of faith that they can believe impossible things when you become a man of prayer doubt dies the capacity to believe God you flee from danger your eyes are opened seeing is not a luxury of prophets is the heritage of the sons sharing is not the luxury of anointed people for when you pray the veil is taken 
from your eyes. Hallelujah. Friends, listen to me. In these next three weeks, I trust that God will enlarge our capacity. You will walk in unusual faith. One of the proof of a man of prayer is faith. You can never truly pray with understanding without being a man of faith. No. Because when you pray, you will hear. And with that hearing, faith will come. The rhema of God puts faith in your spirit. Hallelujah. I glorify your name in all the earth. In all the earth. Even as we round up, let's give him praise. I glorify your name in all the earth. In all the earth. I magnify your name. I magnify your name. Yes, Lord. In all the earth. Glorify your name. I glorify your name in all the earth. In all the earth. In all the earth. Hallelujah. Lord, we truly, we truly desire you. We are tired of church. We are tired of a few superstars called men of God standing on stage we are tired of apostles and prophets making show on stage we are interested in raising men of power and oh God tonight we repent of religion and we pray that you call us to a place of power hallelujah listen to me hear me hear me you will go back home with the spirit of prayer hallelujah these three weeks is a time of prayer individual prayer don't just get used to corporate prayer partner you must learn to know the secret place alone he not them he that dwells there are languages god will show you and speak to you in the secret place cultivate a personal time now is not the time to roam around you don't generate power like that you don't sow your way into power you build your way hallelujah for many of us as you begin to pray you will come up with ideas that will end poverty in your life and your family forever no it's not it's not a prophecy that's a problem with church there are some things that are not gotten by receiving they are gotten as a reward for building yourself in obedience where that scripture will be fulfilled that he makes his angel spirits and his ministers flames i want you to be such a flame of fire that when you enter your room any man that does not love god you don't need to drive and cast your presence commands power I can never run away from a witch over my dead body and all of this I, I i i don't even know anything about witches and wizards i don't i don't it's not that i'm not i'm careless the most important thing i need to know about them i already know that i have victory over them do you realize that the success of these meetings are riding on the wings of prevailing prayer not carelessness and wearing suit and crossing our legs it's not the time it's a time for business it's a time to raise others i saw one of our ladies we were in mina we just came in today we went to minister and i saw her glad to know that we have built her to become a woman of power 
right now for reasons they cannot explain god just promoted her and she's now the secretary to the nyc coordinator for no reason when you command power with god you will flow in this realm friends don't let anybody deceive you you need to build capacity in the spirit it's the secret for a victorious life for the work that god is committing unto you is great and you need great energy the bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle your strength is small when you pray in the spirit you can stand criticism you can stand pressure when you give in too easily you are not a strong man in the spirit when you give in too easily trying to explain to everybody ah i meant this uh -uh. build capacity and your father looks at you and says you're a failure just smile there's there's no point going back to cast any devil where we become strong men in the spirit when they that cry will now be the comforters because of the strength that you have god will show you things and you will save people from catastrophes god will take your eyes and show you the treasures in darkness and the hidden riches that are in secret places and then with the spirit you will do business in the deep waters you will not need to go down to egypt for help because he will show you the treasures that are in the waters help us tonight oh god in the name of the lord jesus help us cause us to be men of power cause us to be men of power now is not the time to build titles now is not the time for ministry now is not the time for eni are you listening to me now is the time for business the business of building people i don't know where i'll see some of you tomorrow but one thing i know is that within the time that we have we will do the job that god commits to us so that when you become an overseer in your ministry when you become a leader we are certain that an ambassador is there for you hallelujah and as surely as the lord lives he will honor our desires lord we thank you we thank you for the privilege of building ourselves in the spirit lord i pray that we will leave this place with a true spirit of prayer prevailing prayer prayer that brings results that we will command results in our lives lord as we pray we open us up let burdens be lifted let mysteries be unfolded and uncovered let the communications of the spirit be effectual in the place of prayer brothers and sisters this is a time of prayer read your book have your lectures but the time that you have invest invest in these three weeks god is going to be putting something in you that will be relevant for your destiny the training of a general is not without tears don't expect me to to massage you i don't want you to be a weak and a beggarly person i want you to be strong and to command power said they that know their god they shall be strong they are the ones who will do exploits has nothing to do with your age has nothing to do with your gender not everybody will be relevant in the program of god but as many who can pay the price he will conquer death he will stop fearing death hallelujah lord we give you praise let's take a few announcements and then we're out of here please keep standing don't sit down just keep standing very quickly hallelujah before i take the announcements i want to say thank you to everyone your presence here keeps us in ministry and it's a proof that god is honoring our true desire to change and to build people those of you outside i want to say a big thank you i love you with all my heart some of you do not have seats i see people right at the back the seats are exhausted but you're standing and praying in this crowd where no one sees you destiny is finding you and tomorrow we may not see you but heaven will rejoice with you i want you to know that this is a sacrifice
that will bring you more than life can give you. Hallelujah. Okay, very quickly. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.